Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. For those of you in the United States, I hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving holiday. We're back at it with some more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts today. Still nothing on the uh, Alpha 3 front. Uh, there's no update as of yet. We'll be patiently watching to see when that comes out, hopefully in the next couple of days. In the meantime, I'm going to take on a battle I haven't done for a while. And we're going to do it without using any of the unlocks or cheats. Just going to try it using the limitations the game gives us. And this is the uh, the battle where we're trying to take on an armed uh, cruiser fleet. Uh, so in this particular case, we are going to build two battle cruisers. And I know it looks a little weird, especially with this empty space right here. But what I'm trying to do is uh, keep the weight as balanced as possible. Uh, and so I've gone with minimum bulkheads. The speed's at 27.5 knots. We actually might be able to bring that up some as you can see, I've got some available weight and available cost. So let's see where we can go with that. We can go up as high as 31 knots. So the goal here is going to be to be sailing away or uh, steaming away from him, mainly using these two rear guns, which are super firing uh, to do my damage. I've got those wonderful Lidite 1 explosives, 13 inch guns. So I don't know how good the, uh, these are Mark 3. So I don't know how good the Aim, the accuracy is going to be on these, but we do have the best range finder available, which is the uh, S2. We've got heavy shells, which are the heaviest ones available. We don't have super heavy shells. Um, and Krupp 2 armor, which is the best armor available. Not very much protection at all, not a lot of armor. So we're just going to have to hope that speed is our armor in this case and see if we can take out these enemy ships one at a time. So here's what we're up against. The French Empire, two battleships, a heavy cruiser, a light cruiser, six transports. And we are immediately in range. So we're going to start turning away from them right away. Let's see who we're looking at right off the bat. I'm not going to worry too much about these transports. Although I don't think that's who this is. We're going to go for who's right up front. I know I've already started firing on the other guy. We'll start turning away from them. How close are we? Too close. Obviously, we want to use the HE shells while we still have those. Let's take a look at own cruise speed bonus 20.4% right now. With these battle cruisers, it tends to be the faster the better, but let's take a look and see what happens once we turn, see if we can get a better bonus. No hits as of yet. We're actually only at 23 knots at the moment. Come on, baby. Let's land a hit. Oh, man. Just on either side of it. There's a big hit. 1,500 damage. That's what we got to count on. Accuracy is going to be low, so we got to get big hits when we can. See if we start speeding up once we turn. The smoke isn't helping. Right, you can see, see as I'm speeding up, that own cruise speed bonus is going down. We'll see if it gets any higher or if it continues to drop. I'm going to make sure both of these guns should be able to fire since we've got the super firing going on there. It 
it's down to 14 and still dropping. Still 19 for him. I guess we need to drop the speed. Let's go down to 22 and see where that puts us. See, it's starting to speed back up again, or go back up again. That bonus. As long as we can keep our distance. There's another huge hit. One or two more of those should finish him off. hit but it didn't do a lot just got to keep an eye on the number of shells I have I might have wanted to add to that number all right we're back up to that 20.4 bonus on cruise speed that seems to be the best we can do unless we slow down even further come on let's just land a couple more hits on this guy I haven't taken any yet Here we come. A couple of these look good. This one right here in the center might hit. Yes! Nice. Okay. That's one down. Looks like we're going after the light cruiser next, seven kilometers out. A couple of hits should finish him off. At least for the time being, I think we'll just keep on regular speed for this one. Of course, the big concern is if his battleship starts landing hits on me, then I start taking damage. right now 7.4 percent not great this might be a hit oh way overshot but every every time we fire our odds increase a little bit there's a oh <laughs> one hit one kill that was an armored cruiser too Oh man, I love those lidite shells, with the heavy lidite shells. Even at 13 inch, they do the job. Certainly going to have to change my tactics once they nerf these high explosive shells. See where our distance is. 7.4. Just got to be careful because we're getting further and further away from his transport fleet, which we're going to have to go back and deal with at some point. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and start. No, I don't want both of them going after the battleship. Have one finish off the light cruiser. The other ones start dealing with one of his battleships. We're 
We're getting a little further away. I wonder if we slow down more, what that does to the bonus. Ah, oh, it's actually slowing down. So that was 22 knots is about the sweet spot. See how close. Oh, we're only at 4%. On both of them right now, but we only need one good land landed hit. I'm gonna go ahead and turn a little bit, which is gonna expose me, but I want to get that last set of guns firing. See if I can get that angle. We're we getting anywhere close to him. Uh, that was kind of close. He's got 13 inch gun, same as me. His percentage is only 0.7. There's a big hit. Not in the right spot, but it at least takes him down to half. Did I just lose? Yeah, I just lost the cruiser. Because of the smoke. We're going to have to turn. We're getting too far away from him now. Plus, I'm going to have to go back after those transports at some point anyway. I just lost everybody. The only danger with running away from a guy while we're firing when we don't have radar yet. Guess we're gonna just go after the battleship for now. Oh, there's the cruiser. Oh, I didn't want both of them firing on him. Just need one good hit. This might be the one. Oh, way too long. Six percent. Also got that little eight inch gun firing on the front. The 
Battleship's 10 kilometers away. There's a hit. Didn't do much, but it's a hit. You can see I, I have two sunken ships. And we've only landed four, eight, nine hits total. But they've been powerful. Starting to find the range on the battleship. We just destroyed his main tower. That's very helpful in a range battle. All right, let's see where we're at here. That smoke is brutal for trying to get a decent aim. Oh, that might be a hit. Oh, he just nailed me. Hit one of my main guns in the rear. him there's a big hit still not enough though take this guy out and then we can start going after the battleships and hopefully track down those transports Another big hit, just can't finish this guy off. This guy's been much more stubborn than the others because we didn't land the hit in the right place. But he's pretty well just sitting there in the water, not moving. Oh, come on. That might be it. See if the, the, oh, it looks like they're gonna deal with the flooding. Okay, this is gonna finish him. Bye bye. Okay. Now we're on to the battleships. Nine kilometers out. I don't wanna get too incredibly close, but I also don't wanna be too far away. So I think we're at a good distance for now. We just got to see what these HE shells can do against this guy. They might not be enough. Although we've already gotten him for 20% of his damage. So close. That's gonna be a hit. Mm, didn't do anything though. Ugh. Tough angle to get a hit on right now. That's going to be one of the nice things about the update is it's going to give you information about those angles. Are we off by that much or yeah, that's we're still firing on this one. We've got 
I'm up to 10%. Chance to hit now at eight kilometers, and it's going up as we get closer. We're up to 11 now as we close the range a little bit. Of course, that's also going to improve his, but he's lost his main tower, at least on this one. It might make sense for me to start firing on the other one too, just to try and damage his tower so we can reduce his ability to hit me. land a couple of lucky hits those fires are raging out of control you can see the damage the structural damage continues to mount even though I haven't really hit him lately oh hello there's one of the transports good they're here they're right alongside of him so once we finish off these battleships we can go after those guys A lot of uh, partial penetration shots. Might have to use some armored, armor piercing rounds. Thirty-three percent. See what our angle's like right now. Definitely getting all of our shells, all of our guns on target. Got a hit on this guy, but nothing that's causing any significant damage. I want to try and nail those towers. It's our distance now. Uh, seven kilometers. Right at ten percent still. There's a hit. Didn't do much. But he's down to 22%. Got a fire going on him now. Up front, maybe we can get some damage on the tower. Keep an eye on the number of shells. Still got 414. I should be good. partial pen. We're getting a lot of those right now. Come on, baby. Let's finish this one. Then we can put all of our guns on the last one. I'm getting pretty close now, but I'm not too worried, although it only takes one hit from him to finish off one of my ships if he lands it in the right place. There was a big hit. Down to 13%. All right, there we go. We got him. I don't know what happened there, but I'll take it. Because you can see he's still at 12% structural. So something must have happened. All right, we go after this last battleship, and then the, or the uh, transports are easy pickings. Got a little bit of a damage, looks like. Yeah, his funnel. Alright, let's take a look here, because I think what I'm going to do is keep this one on him. Oh, it looks like our smaller guns are already firing on the transports. I'm actually going to go ahead and get my rear battle cruiser to start sinking these transports. Actually, let's go after the one furthest to the right. All 
We've got this one down by half. What's our percentage chance to hit these guys? 20%, that's good. It's not gonna take much. There we go. No, oh, maybe it's gonna take more than I thought. No, no, no. All right, we've got to, we got to split this guy off if I wanna. There we go. I'm just gonna s send him right in after those transports. There's one. We'll get up, get up nice and close and take on these other ones with that battle cruiser as we go after the battleship with the other. I've actually got a couple of torpedoes. I'm not sure how much they'll do, but... This is what I have to start getting better at, is kind of managing separate things at the same time. No, I don't want you firing on the battleship. Battleships at six and a half kilometers. We got to turn so we can get that rear turret firing as well. Bye-bye. Nope. Stay on these guys. Go ahead and slow down. Oh, I guess we won? There's a time up. Oh! <laughs> All that, and I'm not paying attention to the mission timer, unfortunately. Okay, well... There you have it. There is a limited amount of time, even though I was easily winning that battle. But uh, let me know your thoughts on that. That was my first attempt in a while at doing one of the missions without using the cheats and the unlocks and all that kind of stuff. And I feel like I'm getting better at the tactics. Um, obviously, at the end there, I was, you know, ran out of time. But it seems like that was working. I was taking advantage of my speed. Uh, honestly, speed and accuracy... I find to be much more important this game than armor right now because uh, armor can always be penetrated but speed and accuracy uh, if you have those advantages over the enemy that seems to make a huge difference so let me know your thoughts and uh, like I said the minute we've got an uh, up to update to alpha 3 you will see it right here first so thanks for watching we'll see you again soon